So, for those of you who have been on my channel before, I've done numerous videos of just hypothetical what if um, over in Magic Kingdom, or in this case, uh, Hollywood Studios at Disney at Disneyland, uh, at Disney World, excuse me, they they changed the Haunted Mansion in, and gave it much like how every season they turn um, the Haunted Mansion into something with Nightmare Before Christmas, I thought of the idea of what if they did the same with the Haunted Mansion in Orlando, but with Gravity Falls every uh, season. But then I thought, you know, what if there was another spooky ride that, um, that Gravity Falls would fit perfectly into? And that is the Tower of Terror. And yes, I know I'm using this fan art pic that has more with Haunted Mansion, but go with me, I couldn't find anything with um, Gravity Falls with Tower of Terror. So, just, just roll with it for now. Anyway, so, yeah, this is going to be a hypothetical um, what if Gravity Falls took over um, Tower of Terror? And what if this one was a little more permanent? What if this one, instead of seasonal over with Haunted Mansion, this was a little more um, permanent? Because, again, we did they did change um, the, haunted, the Tower of Terror in California into the Gra Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Um... But however, the other one in Orlando is staying the same. However, I would say that this could easily you could easily do a permanent change with Gravity Falls in the in the Tower of Terror. And here's how you do it: you don't change much other than the theme of the haunt of the Tower of Terror. I keep trying to say Haunted Mansion. You keep you keep it as a hotel. You keep the horror theme to it. But the difference is, instead of it's Twilight Zone themed, and as much as I enjoy Twilight Zone, there aren't a lot of people who are in this generation, unfortunately, who don't keep up with it. Um, and instead of the Twilight Zone, it's, gra it's the Gravity Falls characters you're following in this uh, storyline. So the idea of the aesthetic of what I would change and the storyline for this would be that uh, Stan has bought the Hollywood Tower Hotel and he wants to franchise, like that would be in the intro video you would see before going on the ride would be, um, you would see like a, a little back, a, a, a backstory of Stan who has bought the Hollywood Hotel, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, and, and Dipper's like, why did you buy a whole hotel? And he's like, I'm gonna franchise. If that mouse can do it, so can I. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of his train of thinking because Stan loves money. Um, but anyway, so he's brought everyone here to redo the hotel, but what they don't realize is that there are ghosts in there, and they immediately want to leave. So Stan, you know, since he sunk a lot of money into this investment, tries to convince everyone to stay, but, um, what happens is he gets, he, when he tries to show that the elevator still works, unfortunately, the, the spirits that haunt the, uh, the hotel capture him, and send him on, a, on you know, the ride, and you, as the pa as the new guests to the Hollywood Tower Hotel, now known as the Mystery Hotel, the Mystery Hotel, um, go along with Dipper, Mabel, and the rest of the Gravity Falls gang, you know, Dipper, Mabel, Wendy, Seuss, and Ford, to go get Stan, to go rescue him from the spirits. That would be the plot of it. It wouldn't really change much from the original idea for Tower of Terror. So you are going along with the ride um, as the first guest, because they're like, well, we would send you back, but we kind of need help finding Stan, and you can't really, you know, call for a re we can't you can't get a refund without him, so yeah, you kind of need to come with us. If you want your money back, you gotta come with us. So that would be the the theme of the ride is that you're trying to save Stan from the spirits while they're throwing everyone around, while they're you know they're throwing people up and down. I would also have like they would I remember because I've only been on it so little times, is that the Tower of Terror has, um, like, little snippets of scenes in between the, uh, pops up and down. Like, instead of seeing the... You would see the ghosts, but you'd also see, like, the other Gravity Falls characters who are trapped in the elevator with you as they're being thrown up and down in the, ho uh, in the room. Like, Seuss would be like, Dude, turn the, dude, turn the gravity back on! <laughs> um... Yeah, so Mabel would be like, Dipper, put your hands in the air! Shut up, Mabel! This is serious! <laughs> yeah, so that would be the thing. Also, when you're being, you know, the little tram um, that you're being taken to be dropped on the ride, 
would be like um, when the, when you're hearing Rod Serling's uh, audio in the background and hearing the Twilight Zone theme right before you drop would be you know the grep would be Dipper and the others being like okay I think we found Stan oh no that's ghosts ah! <laughs> so something like that um, for the outside of the um, of what would the the new outside look like for the uh, for the exterior of the pl of the new refurbished version of this new hotel, the new aesthetic for the hotel ride, I mean, would be, uh, it would be kind of like my similar to the idea for if they changed it with Gravity Falls at Haunted Mansion, it would be more like, um, do that idea, like in that Stan and the rest of Gravity Falls have just parked all their shit in front of the uh, the uh, Hollywood Hotel, Hollywood Tower Hotel and have left all of like a bunch of gravity fall like mystery shack paraphernalia scattered about. Also, that would be also in the interior, but however, it wouldn't be like re completely replace everything. Like you would see stuff from the mystery shack scattered about in the interior of the hotel as you're going into it. That would be the that would be my idea is that I wouldn't really change much to it. Like, you would see it, and also you would have the blues music playing, but occasionally I would have it that, St like, Stan or Seuss would, like, cut into the mic and going, WHO'S PLAYING THAT frickin' JAZZ MUSIC? SERIOUSLY! <laughs> so, something like that. Um, I'd also have in the boiler room, uh, the, uh, the boiler room, like, you, it would, uh, like, you would hear, like, the gnomes or the summertime trickster, or even Bill would be, like, you would hear whispers of them, like, audio of them whispering about in the, um, about in the, uh, furnace as you're right before you're, uh, boarding the ride. And when you exit the ride, I would have it that it would be a little clip of Stan, uh, of Stan, like, packing all of his shit, and, like, this was a bad idea, come on, kids! <laughs> this was really stupid. You're gonna still stay, aren't you? Yep, every, uh, yep, <laughs> I put an investment on this. So there you go, guys. Um, I think this would work. And probably this could easily, I could even see this being a permanent thing for it, because you wouldn't change everything about it, everything about the ride, like with the Hollywood Hotel, like um, the one in, um, in California. It would still be there, but a little spiced up. But, but again, that's just me talking. But you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Gravi if, a, if Gravity Falls took over Tower of Terror? What if Gra t Tower of Terror got remodeled to be like a Gravity Falls themed ride? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? And what would you put in the ride? Like, what kind of aesthetics would you put outside the ride and inside the ride? What would be the story? Just comment below, let me know. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later.